So he, in his mind, says, well, if you did that for one brother, you can do it for me, right? Yeah. But when your mom, and I certainly, I'm going to tell you, Miss Wyman, I wouldn't sue one of my children for $2,000. I don't know if I'd sue him for any amount of money, especially when you have a son that looks like he's doing so okay, because I think that that creates bad feeling over what apparently is not something that is life-altering to you because you have four sons that clearly you raised, you bought them their first cars, you advanced them other money, whatever. So I don't know what these current is that causing you to be here, I don't know. But I certainly want you to know I'm sympathetic with the way he feels because what he feels is that the brothers weren't treated equally. Did your mother, when she gave you this down payment, tell you that it was a loan? No. What did she say to you? I asked her to help me out with a car and she... I called her up and I said... Mom, can you, you know, buy me a car? Like, give me the down payment for a car? And she said yes. And that was it? That was it. And that was two years ago? Yes. And when for the first time did she ask you for money? Whenever I got out of culinary school. Did you get a job? Yeah, I was working like part time. And is that when she asked you to return the money to her? Yes. What did you say? I said I, I didn't know I owed you money. And what did she say? She said it was a loan. She said I expected you to pay right. me back when you started working. Yes. Did you tell him that when you made the down payment? When I loaned him the money, yes. I when told you him. gave him the down payment, what did you tell him? I told him I would gladly help him, but he could pay me back as soon as he got out of culinary school and, and was working. And what did he say? And he said, that would be fine. Thank you so much. I appreciate your help. I couldn't do this if it wasn't for you helping me. Okay. And at that time, he was living with his father? Correct. Okay. Were you happy about that? Um, th that's where he wanted and it was close to school, so No, yes, I'm just I was. asking you a question. He seems to suggest in his answer to me that that was annoying to you. You wanted him to live with your sister. Oh, um, no, that fell through, so no, not at all. I was, okay. I was happy with her. She said that's not the case. What happened was, I went, we went to my aunt's house. She lives in Chicago, so that would have been more convenient. So I went there with the notion that she would let me live there, you know, because we're family, you know, no charge for rent or whatnot. And we went there and she wanted $500 a month to live there. And I didn't want to do that. So my dad was like, you can come move in with me for free. So I was like, well, why wouldn't I pick that over that? But what made you think that your mother was not happy with that? Well... Because she gave you the money afterwards. As soon as that happened, our relationship kind of fell off. She's not very fond of my father, so... Okay, how much was the down payment? Down payment was $2,069.25. Mr. Wyman, as I said to your mother, I would not... You working now? Yeah. In the culinary business? Yes. Good. You happy? Yeah. Great. As I said to your mother, I would not choose to sue one of my children that apparently at age 22 is living on his own independently, working, graduated from culinary school, making a living and doing, and doing well enough to trade in one car and get another one. It would not be my modus operandi. Right. She wants her money back. $2,069. Judgment for the plaintiff.